This is a video for anyone that needs a little extra help with multiplying and dividing, especially dividing, doing division of multi-digit numbers. First things first, on your packet, you should have labeled each of the terms, math words, quotient, divisor, dividend, and product. So check to see that you have the right words written for each math term. So the quotient, the quotient is the answer to a division problem. Divisor, the number you are dividing by. Dividend, the number that's being divided. And the product is the answer to a multiplication problem. And then over here, it uh, shows you where they would line up in an actual problem. All right, so moving ahead, I'm going to do, uh, let's see, we'll just do a couple of these multiplications, and then we'll move on to division right away. So 29 times 3. We have a factor times another factor, which will give us a product. So 9 times 3 is 27. Carry the 2. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 more is 8. So the product is 87. Let's do another one. This is a two-digit, so we still have a factor times a factor will give us a product. So 7 times 1 is 7. 9 times 1 is 9. Oops. I hit, hit a button on my computer. 9 times 1 is 9. Now, because we're moving on here to the tenths position, we have to put a 0 beneath the 7. And then we go right on over to our next 4 times 7 to get our next product. So 4 times 7 is 28. Carry the 2. 9 times 4 is 36. Plus 2 is 38. Add 7 plus 0 is 7. 9 plus 8 is 17. Carry the 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. Bring the 3 down. So it's 3,977 is the product. All right, so I'm going to assume that you can do these multiplying, and we're going to get into the division. So on your, oops, on your division sheet, it started off with, I'm going to move that, started off with these. Now these are nice because um, these examples have the little, I don't know, the graph paper in the background. So let's do one together. First of all, the number in the house, the number in the house, I call it, the number in the house is the dividend. That's the number we're dividing up. We're dividing it into five equal groups. So if you think about that, five. if you had $540 and you had to divide it between five friends, one friend, two, three, four, five, how much would each friend get? Well, let's do the math here. So we say five, five goes into five. So right away I say this five, how many fives fit in this five? And we know that that's one. So five goes into five, one. So five times five, five, this divisor times this number. Now it's Factor times a factor is going to give us a product. So 5 times 5 is 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. And now we have to bring down the 4. The 4 has to come down. And that's a step that many kids struggle with. So the 4 comes down. And this is the trickiest of all. How many times does 5 go into 4? Well, it doesn't go in there at all but you still have to take that place value up there. So five does not go in the four, it goes in there zero times. So five times zero is zero. Now, four times zero is four. We have to bring this zero down. So we have 40. How many times does five go into 40? Or what is 40 divided by five? The answer, 5 goes into 40 8 times. 8 times 5 is 40. 
40 minus 40 is 0. So there's no remainders. So 108 is the quotient. 108 is the quotient. All right. Let's see. Let's do another one. Well, let's do this one. This 25 by, or 800 divided by 25. That's kind of a ugly number there because it's a two digit. So once again, dividend is the number we're chopping up. 25, we're going to have 25 friends to split the $800. I should go back and say to this, to this problem here, so how much money did each friend get? I'm going to go back for a second. Each friend, each friend would get $108, 108, 108, 108. So that's what division is. Okay, so now let's get going here. Right away we say 25. 25 does not go into 8. It does not go into 8. I like to sometimes tell kids to, since 25 doesn't go into 8, sometimes just put an X there. Say X so we know not to put any number there. Then we say, how many times does 25 go into 80? Well, if 25 is like a quarter, how many quarters would give us almost 80 cents? Well, 25 times 2 is 50, 25 times 3 is 75. So 3 times 25 times 3, 25 times 3 gives us 75. Now we subtract, 10 minus 5 is 5. Bring down the 0. Don't forget to drop those down. 0. So how many times does 25 now, this 25, go into 50? Or what's 50 divided by 25? Remember, factors and divisors are the same. So 25 times what factor will give you 50? Or 50 divided by what divisor will give me 25? So either way you think of it, you say 25 times 2. 25 times 2 will give me 50. 50 minus 50 is 0. So there's no remainder in that quotient. All right, let's do a few on the, the last sheet. So I'm going to shrink this one down. Isn't this cool? You can shrink this down, and I'm going to bring this sheet that you see on the back. And let's start off by doing two t uh, 75 divided by 2. Now this one doesn't have any of the the grid or the graph paper, so you're going to have to be nice and neat on your paper. All right, so 75 divided by 2. Let's go. 2 goes into 7 how many times? 2 goes into 7 how many times? 3 times 2 is 6. Subtract. 7 minus 6 is 1. Drop down the 5. 2 goes into 15 how many times? Skip count by 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Well, 16 is too far, so it's got to be 14. So how many is that? So 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 2 times 7 is 14. Hello. All right, so then we subtract 14 from 15, we get 1. In this case, we'll have a remainder of 1. So 37, remainder 1. Let's do another one. Let's do 51 divided by 3. <clears throat> 51 divided by 3, we say, how many times is 3? Go into 5. We won't get it right on 5 because it's not a factor, but it'll get close. So let's say 3 times three times 2 is? That's absolutely wrong, right? You caught me. That can't happen because you can't take 6 away from 5. Can't see if you're listening. So how many times is 3 going to, <clears throat> how many times is 3 going to 5? Only once. 5 minus 3 is drop down the next number. How many times does 3 go into 21? 
or what's 21 in this case divided by 3. Remember, factors and divisors. 3 goes into 21 7 times for 21, and we have no remainder, so the quotient is 17. Okay, let's go down and do another one. Now this is a three digit. <clears throat> How many times does seven go into five? Well, it doesn't go into five, so remember my trick was put an X above the number so that you know not to put a number in that spot. And then we say, how many times does seven go into 58? Well, you gotta do your math facts. Seven times seven is 49. Seven times eight is, so it goes in there, eight times seven is, subtract, eight minus six is, drop down the five. Seven goes into 25. Do your math facts. Seven times one is two. Seven times two is 14. Seven times three is 21. Seven times four is 28. So it can't be seven times four. It's got to be seven times. Oops, that's sloppy. It's got to be seven times. Five minus one is four. So it's 83 remainder four. Okay, if you watch this video and you're still struggling with some of these problems, come see the teacher. But I think with those examples, you should be better off than you were before. So this was a video on the review of long division. Go Packers.